If you have a lot of crap, you're not sure how much it's worth, well, then you have come to the right place. You bring us your stuff, we'll tell you what it's worth, and if you want to sell it, we help you do that too. It's kind of like Antiques Roadshow, but way cooler. It's called Hazerai, and it's happening right now. And today we are at Toy Tokyo. Lev, owner of the shop, knows his toys. To my left is Steven, the proprietor of Traders of Babylon. I'm a big fan of Transformers. I'm especially a big fan of Optimus Prime. Oh, I grew up in the 60s. You know the Silver Age of comics, Batman. Are you a big fan of G.I. Joe? Huge. I like X-Men. Take me through what you have here. Pretty much what I have is, I don't know, assortment of random stuff. It's a 1999 Cause Companion. It's the first toy he ever made. And who's Cause? He's uh, a graffiti artist now, moved on to doing like gallery shows and stuff. It's actually one of my favorite G.I. Joe comics just mm -hmm. because of the introduction of Storm Shadow into, nice. the, into the whole story. I have a Tom Tom. Tom Tom Tom, dude. Oh. Green Lantern number 29. Iceman. And here I got a Black Cat from Spider-Man. I don't really know what these are. It was um, actually given to me as a collab. I got you. So if it's not worth a lot of money, they're going to be rolling around for the rest of the summer. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. I'm scared. All right, love, what do we have here? Well, we had definitely uh, from Japan, so imported from Japan, uh, Series 10. This is a very important issue, first appearance of the Juggernaut. They're called keys, origin of the Juggernaut. Right. A lot of things are explained here that are relevant to even today's X-Men. First time I saw this piece was uh, was in Hong Kong. At that time, I think he was asking $75 each. This is a book that the average collector is not aware if it hits, this will be an amazing issue. Right now, a segment we are calling Head to Head. They both have Barack Obama. The store's got plenty of this. Very, very few stores got any of this. CGC certified 9.8 uh -huh. just sold in May of 2009 for $3,000. Hold on. Did you hear that, Chris? Wow. $3,000. Uh, I would say the value anywhere between eight fifty to 1500 So it's a wide range. You may hit the five to 500 to 1000 mark. Wow. Around the $85 level. About $70. A dollar. Really? Yeah. <sighs> wow. So what do you think? You want to put this up on Hasrae.com and have somebody bid on it, see if you can get 1500 bucks for it? I'll throw this one up, because if that one's dropping, i just hold on to it, see if it does anything in the future. I'll see, let's see what we can get for it. I'll throw two of them up, and then just because my dad got them from me, I'll keep one of them. So you could still put on Hazarai after the movie opens and get the 50% bump. I think I'm going to just throw up on the website to see if I can get some bids. Did you say you were going to throw up on our website? <laughs> throw it up. Yeah, definitely. I want to put it up there. And tune in next week when we go to the nation's capital, D.C., for our very special All D.C. Comics episode. Want more Hazarai? Then get more Hazarai. 24-7 on the web at Hazarai.com and everywhere else with Hazarai Mobile. Hazarai, the official home for all fan kind.